Double lift? Yes, sir. Yes, chat can hear you. Let's go. Let's go. Woohoo! Alright, okay, the your, only your thing that might be weird. Has a built in one minute delays, though? Yeah, yours is too, right? I'm sad about that, but you know what? It is what it is. The price yeah, it's. Is. Whatever. The Coast Stream Finals. Okay, now I can see draft. Aatrox! Too loud. I'll split the difference then. Put him at 90. That will be interesting. Yeah, we'll figure so, it out. <laughs> so the main actual stream stream, right? For I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check out twitch.tv slash LCS and like see. Am I behind them? No way, right? No, I'm not. We should be synced, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, we're we're pretty much synced. You know, I think a lot of people want to see EG win just because it's boring for like the seven million dollar plus super <laughs> team to to win. And but but like you know. Everyone who, you know, has to analytically predict the game is predicting TL to win. But yeah, it would be it would be cool for it to at least go five games. I don't. Honestly, mm. I have like a lot of friends on TL, so it it would be cool to see my friends succeed. But it would be boring too, because it's like it almost feels like a David versus Goliath situation, and you feel really bad when you're voting for when you're like rooting for Goliath, because you're just like, damn, these guys are supposed to win. Yeah. Someone just do a TSM chant. TSM! TSM! Or was it TSM? <laughs> oh no, Impact! Impact's getting his ass kicked. Oh my god! Whippo is fucked. just shitting on him. And he has Ignite, bro. I put up a bet Hello? on Media's channel. Oh, wait. Oh my god. He's getting slammed. Yo, this is, is this what slammed. stage looks like? Just stage yeah. level 1 battles? Yeah. I like... I like that Danny... Went fleet because I, I do think that Zai shits on Jinx in lane, but I, like right there, if Lethal Tempo would have done crazy work. Yeah, would have done yeah. so much more damage. Actually, I don't know. Is fleet actually reasonable on fucking Jinx? I feel like you have to go lethal now. Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely the more safe option. Medius fleet is here. scales <gasps> pretty bad. Giddy's here. <gasps> He's here. All right, here? let's check the, check the audio. I can hear double lift. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll do like a oh, wait. headset I just, pass when we I want to talk. I just realized something. <laughs> Lena, can you find out if I can restart my stream with no delay? Oh! Wow, he just died. <laughs> uh, Through the fleet healing? Because actually, <laughs> if I restart my stream with no delay, I'm synced with the main stream. We're just using the co stream. Wait, we have a yeah, minute like delay on? Yeah, they oh told my. me you're supposed to. I can, I can. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Danny's choking. I was kind of expecting Renata and, Z and Zaya to shit on Jinx. I think that's actually how the matchup should go. But like, if you get a kill like that, where you just straight farm him under turret like he's a minion, and he misses <laughs> two waves off of it, it's like... I don't really think Danny can ever come back from this. You ever. think game's over? Yeah, I, I actually think the game is over because they got shit on that hard. It's pretty like, brutal. How is how is TF ever supposed to gank Zaya now? She has cleanse and ult. Like, you're never going bot. If you do go bot, you're just killing Renata. It's not even really going to do anything. That... Spoonfeed Renata, like, Spoonfeed Jinx like one random kill. How many kills does Jinx need to catch up to Zaya? 900 gold? Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Three TF ults later, and and Jinx will be back to even. Like, it's just not happening. That's that's actually so brutal. Looking at the gold lead. Yeah. One play, like, oh my god, he's so cocky. That's what I'm saying. He's up uh... 800 gold in eight <laughs> he, minutes. He does his audio is so bad, by the way, for me. Not using can, edge, kind of weird. Double check. They paused. Okay. They're actually Excellent. pausing so we can fix the the setup. Yeah, that's so cool of them. That's they say, "Hold nice on, guys, hold on." What'd you say, babe? They're gonna try to find. I just one. said it's nice of. Oh, he's talking to Lena. You're not doublest, babe. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I guess okay. I'm his babe, right? Doublest. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Lena, I wasn't talking to you. I was asking <laughs> my babe, Sneaky, actually. <laughs> 
Melina has a mic from Hassan's streaming backpack that she can let you guys borrow. Which, by, by, by the way, why backpack. don't I just use that mic because it's a good quality? Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You How use the mic. You guys use. All right, get in here. Oh my God, this spot lane matchup is so brutal, man. I don't even know why you'd want to really want to opt into this. Like my opinion is, you're playing on stage, probably for the first game when everyone is probably playing the best. Um, I would say game five, everyone plays the worst. Then like. The best thing to do is to pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Not get your ass kicked in lane. Oh. Oh! Flippy man. Okay. Why did he pause? We'll never know. Oh, it's because oh. Bjergsen used his sums and base. Oh. Where's he going? Wait, where's he going? <gasps> no. Does it work? It's not torn. It's inspired. Nice kill there. Damn, this Holy Shen pick shit. looks good. <laughs> Shen pick looks good. I think it's, I think it actually is gonna have value this game with their comp though. Like their comp <laughs> is so disgustingly strong. Yeah, Shen quirky Shen combo. Yeah, I don't know, yeah, dude. I mean, I, that combo <laughs> Shen is gonna be a, but... like a fucking walking bag of gold. Yeah, he kind of is. You're right. But I think that Han Sama being so strong is like, it's fine to be a worthless Shen. Oh my god, no, please walk up, dude! Take the creeps! Wait, they're saying my mic's loud on stream? Maybe. But JoJo's dead. You're never living this. You're never living this, White Flash! You're never living that! Wait, Whippo's CS is actually so fucked? Yeah, yep. I mean... But it doesn't matter, bro. He's, He's Shen. a Shen. He can, how he can make that play. How much of this do you think was because he took Ignite instead of TP? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It looked like he was doing really well early. And then it just went all downhill. I don't think Aatrox can carry this game. I'm just going to fucking say it. I think that these champs are short. so bad. <laughs> TF. <laughs> oh my. Into behind Jinx. Nah, dude. We're talking to Lena. We're trying to help. Oh, okay, okay. Sounds good. Just Does go River Shen at the finals? Yeah, actually. Right. Maybe. Wait, uh -huh. are they really going to kill Blippo here? They boxed oh, no. him in. Vulcan. Kill the turret. Yeah, that he's fucking dead. Doesn't work. Nice that they gave Danny the kill. And a lot of plates oh, yeah. actually for Jinx. It's really important. Did he oh, he got killed double lift? Whippo? Whippo? What's the he god doing? Of living? Oh no. Oh my god. This Wait, is Bjergsen? brutal. He's going a real build? Hold on. Or is he? Wait. Uh, I, think he's going, I think he's going Trinity or Sunder? What is this? I don't know. It's probably Trinity. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, Wait, Hans no. is getting shit on. Oh, he's no, literally no. dead. Oh my god. That's the only way that he could die. What the wow. fuck? Core's, core might die. Core might die. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, is he? Wait, no, he's not. He's, he's gonna dead. die. He's gonna get dope. Yeah, he's, he's gonna dead. Get what? Huh. That's the only way you can die as Zaya. Are you kidding me? Uh -oh. oh, wait. He's <laughs> dying. Oh my god. Solo Dude, what's kill? happening this game? It's just oh. like. No. Wait. Dude, oh, wait, impact. Was actually dead. Yeah. No, uh, no, no never mind. I don't know. Out, out, out. Dude, Impact is shitting Dude, on this game. Popping the fuck off. What the oh my fuck? God. I actually just totally griefed myself by saying Impact can't carry this game. Like, what what happened to Hans, by the way, is so not normal. You would never get hit by Aatrox W like that unless you're actually just you're you're, you're like choking. Now Meteos is because quiet. It, he had he had a flash, and his flash got <clears throat> like look at this bot play again. Like how Hans played this. 
If he flashes any other direction, the the tether doesn't go. So he ults this. Great. Now he gets uh, hit by web, the W. Ryan. Webcam mics are usually pretty terrible. W? Okay, now look at this flash. Wow! <laughs> yeah. First Discord specifically. I mean it could be it could be stream. It, it could just be stream too. That'd be fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah that whatever. Works. Whatever works. No, he's not dead anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll just troubleshoot he's what not. we have. He's not. He Thank has you. to just flash in a way where he doesn't get pulled back. Well, I mean, we'll see how much damage he actually does. I, I yeah. feel like the reason you picked Corky is for his OP poke. Like, yeah. That's yeah. really good. I, like, I think this game looks build. looks real good for a rapid fire or the the Luden's build, but he's going neither, right? He's 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 not gonna have a rapid fire until way 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 late in the game. <laughs> wow, just a banger fight and fucking TL being down 3k gold after the early game that got handed to him is such a bad sign. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <gasps> what the fuck. Poking. Impact is fucking. Owning and he has TP, which I think is amazing here. What a huge CD blown. Renato ulti, and all he has to do, he's not even gonna miss farm. He's literally just gonna pressure TP here, and he can go top and catch the wave. Or if TL contests, he can TP back with full HP. Oh, the package. And package is coming. Package is coming. Yeah, I, I oh, don't think no. TL should fight this. Yeah, I, I don't. At this point, awkward. I don't know if EG should fight. I guess they're getting poked here, EG. Yeah. They're, they're getting poked, and Package is really broken right now. I mean, this is such a fuck spot to fight Nocturne. Like, you lose vision of everything when you fight. Go. Yeah. That's true, but they're on a timer yeah. because of Shen, so I'd ra I'd way rather be Team Liquid here, since Shen is creating a huge, like, lose-lose lose situation. Oh. oh, he's in the Package. Jojo just dies Python's. instantly. He does a flash. Oh, oh he's dead anyways. Yikes. Damn. No. Oh. Impact dead. Flash. Oh, dude, dude, this is a disaster. Though. Yeah, that that this. There's no follow up to Nocturne's first engage, and TF was just too useless in that fight. He didn't do anything. I think their target now... choice was about as bad as it could have been going on Zaya. Yeah, it really was. Oh my Pretty god. Pretty target though. Someone you can one shot, Renata. Hmm. I feel like I don't know. Actually, down here, I think it's up, right? No, 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 it's down. Down? Okay. Hmm. That that was actually such a lucky timing by by the uh, engage from or sorry the disengage from TL because at the same time Nocturne goes in, Bjergsen uses package on Impact's Aatrox combo, so it ends up being like a two for one value on package where he like blows the enemy team. Engage and peels himself. It's really good. Damn, yeah. that sucks for impact. He gave a 700 gold shutdown to Zaya on his death, and he lost like fucking 40 CS. Like, not 40 CS, probably like 30 CS. Wait, he's Bjerk is going mid. rapid fire third. Oh. Oh, he is. Interesting. I do want to point out really fast that. It's it's not easy for for Jinx to carry this game. This is why like she stopped being his pick is mainly because of this Saya build actually. She stopped being she stopped being as good of a champ just because Jinx really struggles when she gets outranged, but nothing that was being picked for the longest time outranged Jinx. But now there's fi there finally is a champion that can take her to half health with just one ability, QE or Quirky like I guess it's two abilities. One ability, yeah, and Corky Rocket. I mean, one little, one little anything. Corky Rocket. One little Zaya ult. <laughs> we have one little Shen combo or Jarvan combo into Shen ulti into <laughs> five auto attacks. Yeah, I mean, she she's like the outranger because of her fucking buffs she got to her rocket range. Like yeah, you're ago. really you're really beating her at like what she's she wants to be good at, and I don't. I don't really see Z like Jinx doing a lot unless Teal really messes up. And they're very fucking careful of a team. They basically only fight with like the fucking 
must get fully loaded. Package up, every cooldown up, five flashes, then TL will fight. How is TL just about to get the 26 minute soul? Yep, they they're about to win the game if, if, if nothing if nothing happens here. I, I don't think that EG is advantage at all in this fight. They have a TF who's even on items, not what he wants. Wait, last in towards trolling. He's too close. He could actually get one shot off this. Whoa. Holy moly. He no words on him. Is, yeah, I mean, like, he, he put the ward over his Ascara ward. And now they he finally have vision of EG, so it's not the best. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my wow, God. they had to Open eat that? Instantly. Yeah. Oh, God. That feels Wait, really, really bad. Core's looking for a nasty I, old I angle don't, here. I don't think that TF is a good pick. I, I think every time I see it, it's not doing anything. It's not giving any value. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of this game just came down to, like, the bot lane. What? Dude, you're, like, fucking laying on my shoulder while I'm talking. It's I'm not even distracting. close. <laughs> no, but, um... Bye -bye, wait, do they get the drag here? They do. Lucky. Oh. Now what? Woo! Wow, Bippo did a fake. I love oh that play. Oh, my God. I love that play. Oh, Penta! Oh, no, nothing, nothing. But, yeah, I was going to say, like... I think TF, I don't love the pick, but I, th I think bot lane just getting shit on so that y'all could stack dragons instantly. The game kind of fucked their plan. Because normally when you play like TF Nocturne, you want to be splitting, right? Like this is yeah. for sure a 1-3-1 comp, but when the enemy team's on soul point at like 20 minutes into the game, it's doomed. I just yeah. think you don't you don't want to pick TF before you see the lanes. If it's Zaya with... Oh, wait. It's awkward not as fuck. Not the best engage. Yeah, not yeah. the best engage. But put your flash, put your flash. <laughs> bye bye Danny. Goodbye. What a huge payoff from his earlier play, man, when he when he just fucking baited him with the E in his face but no flash. And he gets Dude, that's fucking rare payoff, to like, see. right after. Yeah, really rare. He could have done it. Like it looked like he would have done it. So I I like that he had yeah. respect for Danny's play there. I, is it rare? I, I feel like that's the like Gragas play. Just E yeah. at someone. It's pretty rare for like the games we've seen. I mean, Shen's not played that much. This looks actually still winning for TL. There's not yeah. enough damage. I don't think they win. Oh? Wait. Haunt? Oh, oh wait, wow, he got feared. feared. Oh, oh, yeah, but the cleanse so gave him so much value. But Impact's kind of smurfing here. Nice. Uh, oh. get fucked. A little bit. Oh, Tom. Oh, he got hit. He got oh, hit. He's dead. Yeah. Wait, TF? Wait, TF? Uh, Hello? Oh! oh! Almost it's kills everyone. No, GG now, holy shit. With a rapid shit. fire a melee champion? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, why the fuck did he pour directly on top of him? Going uh, for the kill, 1 he, HP. This game's actually like the one. Wait, Danny might, Danny might try some shit here. Whoa! What? Wait! No! Wait, he, he can kill everybody! No! He can literally no! kill everyone! Yeah. They're all fucking yeah, dead! Oh my god! It's literally a Penta! Wow. It's a Dude, fucking what? Penta! What? what the fuck was that? What? That doesn't wow. happen! No fucking way. Dude. What the fuck oh was that? God, dude, this kid, dude, this kid is actually cracked as fuck. What the so fuck? It's real time. That, like, sure, Danny did fine, but that was so troll. How do you No. That? No, dude. dude. Dude, no, that was actually fucking crazy. What How the fuck? <laughs> What Dude, the Danny, fuck? Danny's just collecting pentas every Dude, every single split. He's collecting pentas. That's actually the dream. That's like the <laughs> shit you dream about when you're a little kid. You're like, I want to yeah. be a pro player. I'm just going to run up 1v5 Baron steel penta. And that <laughs> well, actually Danny's just the little kid. Danny's the little kid. Happened. Danny's the little kid. It literally doesn't get better that's than a, that. That's no. a dream come true. You steal <laughs> Baron? And then you get five resets back to back on all low. What the fuck? How did Santorin with the smite? Oh my god. Look at fucking Bjergsen. He suicide bombs in with the fucking stopwatch. Yeah, dude. That's so funny. What a fucking crazy play. JoJo's just so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> that's so good. Can TL recover from that mentally? I, I feel like that's one of the ones that it, it's so bad that you just have to immediately get amnesia and be like, that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, 
It's it's so hard for TL to recover from that. Like you literally got Fuck. embarrassed. In like the most montageable way possible. <laughs> Holy shit, that was such a fucking crazy play. Ow, he just got chunked. Holy shit, dude. I I don't know if this game's over, but Jesus. I mean, if if TL can get one more drag, they have a chance. But right now, 5k gold down and Baron, like Danny's going to fucking 1v5 them. Like he's he's online. Instinct wise, I don't feel like it's that dude. But wait, dude, what is your build? I see a BF sword. Going sword Oh god. They just use so actually, much shit. I don't know what yeah, he's building. EG's is just dude, Danny's actually just gonna kill everyone now. <laughs> dude, uh, they're actually just tilted. Alright. GG. You're shit getting styled on? Uh, GG man. Yurk's actually a troll corky. I'll Yurk? say it. Oh my god, they're getting their oh, ass kicked. It's GG. GG? Yeah. GG, Danny 1v5! And he gets farmed under his Danny 1v5! Like huh. What in God's name did we just see? What the fuck? <laughs> the power of Jinx, bro. The power huh. of Danny. Wow. Huh. Wow. Dude, Hans didn't even play that bad. He really like he made a he made a one mistake, one mistake. It was that bot on Aatrox W. He flashed wrong. Oh yeah, dude. He <laughs> looks so tilted off that loss. Oh my god. That like, is dude, fucking dude, tilting. There's nothing yeah. more yeah, tilting that's... that could happen to you. <laughs> you fucking throw somehow getting your soul stolen, and then you get Baron stolen by a fucking AD carry who's like the weakest piece. <laughs> <laughs> and then get Penta killed by him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The only way that could have been a bigger montage play is if he didn't have Tom with him. It was a literal 1v5, not a 2v5. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, Tom actually did help a little bit there with, with slows and body blocking, but, like, if he wasn't there, that would have been a second time 1v5. Yep. In playoffs, oh Penta. I mean, like, the last time it wasn't an official Penta, but it was still insane. He's just too clutch, or what? <laughs> Dude, I, mean, I don't know. As, I mean, as as insane as that play was, I it's not in my mind like Danny doing something good. Like I think, I mean, obviously he played it well, but he should never be allowed to do that. Like, yeah, yeah. On TL, just like spoon feeding him a Baron. <laughs> no, no, no. Dude, if you watch, if you had the nameplate switch and it was Sneaky making that play, you'd be like sucking Sneaky's dick. Like this, Danny no, played really well. He played really well. He played it well, but like, how is a Jinx getting a Baron with an auto attack? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the steal is pretty far. Is, that part is crazy. That part is crazy. But I mean, the, like, he doesn't get a reset. Like that triggered his passive getting that, and then he can just roll everyone up. Yeah. What? I'm gonna pull back and see it or so something. So my chat says that Baron Baron leveled up right as Centaur and smited, and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go look at that right now. Yeah, I'm gonna pull back because. I'm on it right now. I'm gonna go slow mo. Okay. No, he has just a roll smite. I go even no, slower. It did heal. It? Did heal. it? I mean, the health went it up, heals. but it was never in smite range. Yeah, it wasn't even it was. smite range. No, right? no, guys, it's at. I can, I can screenshot it for you right now. It's at 895. He smited it at 895, but it healed. Oh, it did Why go to did 895. Why did it heal? I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, because Baron leveling they... up, that was a bigger heal than normal. Is it because the time switches to 29 minutes at that exact time? Does Baron... Baron levels up based on time, right? So at 29 minutes exactly... That, that is Wait, super, super unlucky. Why does it... Why, why what, did what that happen? What's damage here? 900? 900. 900. So if he hits it on this 895, it's a perfect yeah, smite. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's a perfect smite at 895. Game, why did it heal? Frame by frame. Yeah, yeah, obviously. It heals yeah. a lot. That, no, that, no, it, but Centaurin, a lot Centaurin is a good player. Like, he does it by feel. He knows that it's going to be under 900 on that exact frame. And he hits it right. Like, it's not frame perfect, but he hits it at the right time. I don't yeah, understand. I mean, like, I'll say in St. Torn's defense that it's pretty fucked up, but at the same time, yeah. like, Jinx is autoing it. Like, you just have to not smite as Jinx auto's hit. 
I yeah. mean, I, I guess there's a world where like Hans and Berg critted. Yeah, like it without there's, the smite, but I, there's I don't a know. world where your teammates do 700 damage and Jinx does 200 damage, and then that's the equivalent of when you should have smited at like a really really unlucky timing. But obviously, yeah, you, you you're you're right. I think Santorin. I don't know. I, I I struggle to blame Santorin for that because I think he yeah, got cheated I, there. I I I don't blame Santorin that much for that. It's fucked up for sure. But I don't know. This was like. The one in a billion, it, like it does not happen. Yeah. In my life of playing League, I've never seen. Do we think they're dead? Even if he doesn't get Baron here, because they're pretty fucked up. Like, say that Rocket didn't literally steal it, but it still splashes like that. Uh huh. I mean, he's a Jinx with. No I think the move speed from the the Baron makes it so they can't kill him. Yeah, that's true. The actual passive moves. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure they just jump on him and... Oh, yeah, he fucking zooms. Yeah, he, he couldn't yeah, finish he, core. He attack speed and moves. Like, 100% he, he doesn't go up. Yeah. Sure he just dies. Yeah, he, like, tries. Yeah. I'm so happy that... Just, as a viewer, that's amazing. I think... As a player, that probably feels so fucking bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it, it doesn't get worse. It actually doesn't get worse. <laughs> no, but, like, getting cheated out of wins that you feel like you deserve is... It's part of a series, right? Like, it's part of what makes a good team... The better team will win. Like, let's let's just say that you're the biggest hater of EG here, and you say, like, oh, my God, they only won because Danny got really lucky. Okay? That's, that's kind of a cope, because he played really well, at, like... But he also did get very lucky. But then, you know... If TL can bounce back and prove that they're better, they will in the next three to four games. I think just being one game down does feel really obviously bad, but it's not the end of the world. And I just cannot believe that Danny fucking got a 2v5 Penta. That was, <laughs> that was insane. This dude gets a Penta every game. Totally. Yeah, he's, a, he's a Penta machine. He's a highlight he's the, reel. He's the next double lift. This is gonna be the most haunted Baron of all time. Literally, dude. God, that's fucking funny. Even smacks a ward in there. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Legit. I, I unironically would not be surprised if they add something into like next patch where it's just like Baron doesn't reach in health like below 2k anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like <laughs> that's wait like Santorin you, had to fucking pay the price to, to like you can Riot really sit there and be like yeah no that's good that's good mechanic <laughs> we like that. Wait, wait, Santorin should have played around it. Thank you, EG, for continuing to generate the hype through your content. I am actually joined by some of EG's biggest fans on the team of JoJo. We have his mother, Yoon, and his sister, Allison, over on my opposite side. Oh, my God. Twitch chat is going to be so disgusting right now. I, 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 I don't even want to be here for this. your son performing in such a stadium like I really do not want to be here for this. Before we get on with the I, I wish it happened show, in game five. That was the only thing I, I could make that more insane. Yeah. About yeah. to get Vulcan to, you know, meet up with JoJo's sister here. Uh, any arrangements to be made? Any comments on that? <laughs> well, since I've been, uh, I met uh, his mother, I think I, I can approve the relationship. But at the end of the day, that's a Vulcan decision. <laughs> uh, a Vulcan decision. Thank you for saying it. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, well, thank you all so much What's for up? joining me. That's Vulcan's so dad and Jojo's sister and mother. To get it going. Why did he talk about some relationship, though? I actually have no idea, and... I think he just low-key flirted with JoJo's mom. Like, I... Like, in front of, like, 100,000 plus people, I think he just... I think he just shot his shot. I, I'm not really sure what's happening here. What oh, we're in draft. Oh, wait, Sneaky missed it. I, we'll go back and listen to it for Sneaky. My chat says that there's an EG Files episode where they're trying to hook up Vulcan with JoJo's sister. Oh. But, oh, like well... Thing? No, 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 but, like, I'm trying to explain why Latigris would ask that. 
They literally addressed it publicly in an interview without giving any context to the viewers. I'm trying to help the viewers understand why would Latigris ask Vulcan's dad if the relationship <laughs> between Vulcan and Jojo's sister would improve. They didn't say a single word about why there would even be a relationship between them. And why but, wasn't Jojo's sister the one being asked? Like, I, d I don't what? know. Why would they ask Vulcan's dad that? Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> that seems pretty uh, I'm, I'm just so up. mind fucked on so many levels. There's so many layers to unpack here. I, I, we don't have time for this shit. I don't know, dude. If I'm JoJo, I'd feel pretty good about my support banging my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Lena says it's in our best interest to move on. <laughs> we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta switch topics fast. <clears throat> uh, what about this draft, guys? Uh, yeah, or draft. The draft. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I actually do have an interesting part of this draft because. Me and Sneaky were at the C9 booth before this, just like uh, taking pictures and finding stuff for fans. And I was talking to Blabber, and I just asked him like, like what his thoughts on like Orn is, because I was just saying like it's so it's confusing for me in playoffs how Orn is getting picked every game and winning every game. And what he said was like Orn's OP unless you pick GP into him, and we're actually seeing that here. Yeah. Because it's no. it's actually it's hard to get pro insight like that. Except the fact that, like, Blabber's out. <clears throat> C9's out, so he probably doesn't care. And we talked about uh, Ash. True. I, I mentioned to him, and he said, yeah, Ash is just terrible. Dies to every jungler. Wait. No. They're playing fucking Diana Yasuo? Huh. Wait, they're playing Ash against Jinx? No way, they picked yeah, Zyra. They, they spent too much time in the C9 booth if they're picking Ash Zyra right now. <laughs> Don't fucking lock no, Zyra. Fuck. What? No way. No way. Dude, yeah. they've lost their mind. They've actually picked that? No way. Yo, yo, I, I shit huh. you not, Han Sama and Kor no. came over, like, deep under undercover to the C9 booth to get a picture with us. I'm not even capping. Literally, they did. Yeah. I, like, I, we didn't even know who they were. They were wearing, like, fucking Teemo hats and, like, masks covering their whole face. I could barely tell it was Kor and Hans. Wait, you're, you're not even kidding. Hans and no, Kor I'm... came up to you guys for a picture. Yeah. Yes. At the scene, I'm moving. And it was, it was the, them with Elia. Ayla? Ayla. That's fucking hilarious. Elia. They're actually undercover so that a they wouldn't get, uh, like, swamped by fans. Yep. Yeah. It, and it was, like, pretty soon before this. It was, like, it was yeah. like an hour ago or something. <laughs> Is pretty funny. Is Meteos just trolling? No, I'm 100% not capping at all. The real true facts. No cap. Possibly on a stack. Let's just go over like why this would be bad, right? Like first off, rain supports struggle really hard against engaged. The enemy team already has Orn. Second off, Ash Syrah both gets countered by cleanse and so does TF. So they're getting triple cleanse value and triple Tom Kench value. Since TF gold card, Ash arrow are both single target. They're not wombo combo abilities that were like Tom Kench has to choose who to save. He just knows. I'm just going to sit on top of my AD carry and I'm going to save him. So basically, everything about TL's draft just screams like, we're desperate, we need to win early game, and like, we're going to skill check you. But like, I think they're really disadvantaged. Really, really disadvantaged. That's yep. so much wind wall value, right? Like, that's that's so much value for every single button that the enemy team gets to press. Wind wall, cleanse, Tom Kench, ulti. They need to smash lane, and then they don't even need to smash lanes. They need to like, smash lane and like, Snowball that into four drags back to back and not get Baron stolen by a fucking an auto attack. <laughs> that? Yeah, they really could overlooked be that good. part of the plan. And <laughs> this is yeah. again. Do you see Danny's runes? He has resolved secondary. I like it. I like it. I've been doing this a lot too. Bone plating is so strong. Would you ever start D shield or is that just it? No, probably not. I mean, I, I would definitely go, you know, if, if I'm not going bone, bone plating, I might go, uh, what is it called? Con uh, Second wind, because it's like pretty much a D, D shield. Uh -huh. Um, I think second wind is like way better than bone plate. Like I think bone plating is not good on AD carry unless you're against like a really hard all in, because a lot of times yeah. it just gets poked off and you lose like one stack and that's it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah that, this game like he, he would lose it like right there value. if he had it. Yeah. It's just yeah, gone. Yeah. Oh. I, I'm surprised by the Zyra more than anything though, because like. I've thought about this a lot and talked to a lot of people about it, but like I, I really think Zyra is the worst champion. Danny game. loses this, by the way. My I think. God. Wait. He has no lethal. Just fucking. They lose this. <gasps> Dude, if he didn't dodge that W. Wait, oh they're... my God. Jesus. 
Hojo's sister's watching and Vulcan's playing like that. <laughs> oh, I'm very. He cannot be taking these trades. <laughs> confused about confused about Korra's exhaust, but also understand it because it's Yasuo Diana. I think. Oh God, and Jarvis yeah, something some... bought. We've seen some, some spicy ass trades. Both these games, level one. I know, they've been real spicy, spicy. Did they not just throw their entire lane by trying that? Oh my god! Wow, Core actually walks up and what the fuck? This is, is not real, man. Does Danny need to recall I, there? I think I think what's I think what's really happening here is EG both times is getting mind game by what Jarvin can do. Jarvin can just do one camp and go bot immediately for the dive or for the gank. And like if he's doing that, then they have to back up turret. But he's not actually doing that. He they have no information. They don't know that Jarvin's just doing a full clear. It's the threat of him coming bot and diving that's causing them to like back off and be one CS at three minutes. And well, dude, he's gonna miss a cannon. Oh my god. I, I, I will say, like, that, that wasn't a full clear. Santorin was going to do a three camp bottom. So, like, I actually think it and was he... probably correct of them to do that. It's just, I think the trade level one was fucking troll as hell. What the yeah. fuck are these plants? Wait, what's on? Uh, yeah, 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 time? Yeah. Double lift? Now we're synced up. Okay. Nice. What do you got, Sneaky? Just run worth some time? Uh, uh, well, actually, we're on Hi. the same beast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I guess we'll just think. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think what they did was the right play, and I would I would definitely do the same play if I was EG, but the thing is that Jarvan has options. He can commit, or he can just do the slightly greedier thing, which is farm and eyeball it, and I think I think he did the right thing. I think Santorin also played great by just not committing his body until he absolutely needed to. And that right there was like the one time where Diana can cover, right? Like at this point, she's going to go Raptors, and she's going to probably path up to top grab. Then they get another opportunity to make a play on bot. Oh, shit. Torin yeah. Might get top crab, actually. Santorin might just double crab this. Not the biggest deal, but it's nice for him. <laughs> Whenever I see things like this, it just makes me wonder, like, what was the point of them even contesting level one if, like, they could have taken a small L, right? If they just played safe and, like, let themselves get pushed in, whatever. But now they're taking, like, they took the biggest L imaginable level one. But, like, they. Well, like they, they thought okay they now. could win. Yeah. They, they uh -huh. thought they could win because Tom Kench is so strong at level 1 and Zyra ran exhaust. And I think it was really close. Um, honestly, if, if Tom didn't miss one of those cues, I think it would have looked totally differently too. But well, isn't, isn't the lethal tempo a big part of it? Like, Jinx is yeah, definitely weaker without that all-in. It is in. huge. Yeah, I'm pretty massive. sure they would win that hard if he had it. I mean, she clearly got more than six autos in that fucking trade. And then at that point, you're actually outranging Ash so hard. And you're attacking way faster than she can. But it's it's different when Ash is the one stacking lethal on you. So yeah, it totally did matter. And I'm worried about EG. This happens to me all the time. I'm worried about EG taking a fight when GP is 6 and not accounting for that slow. It's so much damage if you don't get to flash out. I think they're about to both have flash though, so it'll be okay. Yeah, the, the level 1 thing is... Literally both sides don't know who wins. <laughs> wow. Oh, right here, there's act there's a small window. Oh, really? That's no, not there's troll. Not. Yeah, that that was pretty forced. I'm not sure that's exactly how you want to be. Called. No, it was all banked on core hitting E there, and it didn't hit. So, quite the bummer. I know that Bjergsen's not happy with how much fucking value the enemy team is gonna get off. Of these these TF picks, I don't understand them. I TF's not good at team fighting, so you're playing it against Orn and Ash Tom Kench, like and then last game, TF didn't do anything. Danny could have just told his mid laner to DC and then it was still would have won, so Yeah, yeah it do especially with what's this going comp, on. Like I was TF getting picked early when you can't like guarantee a good TF comp because th this comp actually looks so good if you're on a control mage. Like imagine this is Victor or something. Right, like, actually, God comp for a control mage. Got like, tank jungler, uh, you know, prio bot lane early, scaling top laner. Want yeah. also have scaling mid, but like, Ash, notoriously has a problem where she's not a real carry, and 
Like, you'll just have no fucking damn if you also have, like, TF Jarvan type stuff. This is really all banking on mining. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, it, it is true. They're banking on Poopo 1v9ing, but I don't think GP can survive any knockups this game. Anything that hits him, he can just die one shot. Straight up, just get Yasuo comboed. He's real squishy. I think Buffo is also the kind of player where he just builds full crit every game. Like, he's not gonna go bruiser. Oh, Jesus. He did that, like, infinity edge with six. Oh, oh wow, that wait. hit. He dead? He it's very well could be. Cork and Dark. I'd love to see what Vulcan can do with his tongue. Here. <laughs> why, yeah, did, maybe, why did Vulcan not just keep walking forward? I'm. Yeah, I'm he really has, surprised he that he didn't just keep fighting. A really great tongue. He could. There. <clears throat> yeah, his Q is very strong. It's slowing. Yeah, like, a, like a, just a big slow all in. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a easy two v two kill for for uh, EG. I don't know. Uh, did did if... they have vision on TF? It, they they could have been. Yeah. Yeah. They, they could have been scared of of the trade there, but man, that. These these advantages that that TL is getting bot lane, they're not driving it home. You know, it's not it's not getting more than just just a kill. It's not getting translated to something. Dude, didn't this happen last time TL EG played? Like TL was slamming EG's bot lane, but they were playing mm -hmm. Zeri every game. I think EG was. Yeah. So it was kind of expected to lose, but I don't know. I don't think Jinx is expected to lose quite this hard. Oh, why, why doesn't the dragon regen right before this might? So stupid. <laughs> yeah. Funny funny thing about Zyra is like Core, this favorite, oh, oh, like Core's oh. favorite champion. Oh. Wow. Dead? Oh, and yep. nice. oh, wait. And Tarn dove pretty deep. But oh, wait. Oh, Yasuo is oh, in my range. Holy wait. shit, wait. they don't need him. Oh, wait. Why is he killing everyone? Okay. Oh, wait. All right, Diana's rusted. Oh, no. Uh, oh, wow! Disa absolute disaster. They all end Tom Kinch, and then they all die. Yeah, dude. I, yeah. I, I feel like Zyra and Diana both are like the gods of countering. If you engage on somebody that's not them, and then they get an angle on, fuck. But instead, TL was the ones like hitting super hard yeah. on the tank support. That was probably not the best play. They Jesus. I mean, this is now, speaking to Zaya's strength, too. Like, that's right, Zyra. Like, she's yeah. just not that great of a champ. So, e even if they are going crazy into her... I want to see how she used her R. She used it on Tom only, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that's part of it. Tom. But she's just they, they after. They three ultis to kill Tom. Yeah. yeah. Inspired got such a good play here. You can just... God, they just get deleted. What's that root from? On who? I don't know, someone on TL, like, one of their followers would... Yes, yep. Jinx traps, traps. Yeah. Yeah. Four ults to kill Tom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. They got him, though. Diana was really, really strong there. Yes, or double, can you hear us as well? Yeah, I can. <coughs> I can hear you. Why? What's up? You're kind of. You were kind of. Uh, uh, like, what's it called? In and out. Yeah. On and off. But. Oh. Huh. Oh. oh. Oh no. Oh no. They no, are no. trolling. Okay. Okay. No, it's or fine. Not. It's fine. It's actually Giga fine because Pearson doesn't lose any farm for that play. The most important part of the play. Most Im yes, most important f part. TL gets second drag, and now you know that it's not going to be cloud. You know it's going to be useful, right? It, it can only be ocean, uh, mountain, or hex tech. So, oh, oh, very nice. Gale force out. As far as playing to win conditions, I think TL is solid. They they understand the game. They're playing to their win con well. For EG, it's like, it's tough for them early, but they scale so much harder. I like that Inspired knows that he should just be bought to cover these plays, and he's doing so well to keep up and farm. It just sucks that Bwipo is always able to ult in every single bot play. Like, they just keep repeatedly going bot with GP ultis, and, 
You know, it's super advantage for TL. This is Solar Baka's build? Really, what does he get next? Uh, three more crit cloaks. <clears throat> if I had to guess, it's like your mic. Prowlers. What's wrong with it? Wait, who's Mike? I, uh, Medios' mic screeched into my fucking soul. But it's it's okay, it's okay. Nothing you can do about it, I think. Unless it's like unplugged. Huh. I don't even know, dude. It's fine. Two, two heralds in a row for Jinx. Like, they play well with Jinx. I think take Danny off this champ if the game, like in in the rest for the rest of the series, I think take Danny off Jinx. That's don't let him play Jinx or Zeri. That's my opinion. I think they're really comfortable. They know they know that like Jinx is such a great like ultimate late game win con, and like they always get Herald and they just let Jinx take turrets. Feels really good to be EG. Bring her back in the game. I want to see Danny get a Penta. He hasn't got one all game. <laughs> He's working on it, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I understand I'm, I'm Prowlers, but why, why double Crit Cloak into Prowler? Oh, it's just the build, Medios. Couldn't get it. Yeah, I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> couldn't tell you. I, I couldn't tell you. I, I feel like Buffo's the king of like weird picks and weird builds right now. He really he wants do to be. fucking drop some nukes. Okay, thank you. Good insight. Good insight. I, I I like all these comments that are like so matter of fact about it. It's like, yeah, dude, it's crit more. Like, are you fucking stupid, Medios? <laughs> Ice crit cloak to crit more. It's like, dude, oh. I don't know why AD carries don't just buy five long sword or five BF swords. It just does more damage. Gives yeah. you more AD, which is just why would you not want that? You just don't understand how gold efficiency works. Yeah, dude. Why doesn't everyone buy crit cloaks like that? Well, I mean, if you look at the wiki, uh, actually, uh, the crit cloak is 100% gold efficient. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty smart. I get I'm such kind a, of a big deal. boner every time I hear... It's a great Why stat. Why did just W one inch oh, away? Oh, wait. This flank could actually be huge. They do have a ward to see him, though. I mean, TL's comp is made out of paper. If anything touches them, they oh, die. Oh, it's... oh, oh, oh. Wow, that... Wow. Oh, no. Inspired. Wait, are you serious? Oh, they actually get the drop on Inspired. So good. Can wait, they do they anything? Die? He just got TF ulted. It was a really good ward on no. bottom side. I, th no, I think Inspired had a good flank. Ulted. You're trolling. You got oh. an arrow, bro. You have not used his ult to go on him? Nope. Oh. This is so crazy. I, I didn't this see it. I was so watching... Crazy. I was watching Weepo no, go, go for, for his drag. big barrel. Yo, this is pissing me off. Why not go for drag? You're gonna go Baron again? Yo, uh -oh. I'm joking, dude. I, I, I've seen this before. This is not a play. Literally a montage incoming. I'm sweating right now. I'm actually, actually I don't know. Chills. It's Powder from Arcane. She's walking up. She has Rocket. Uh, Why dude, are like, you thinking? It, if you're okay. if you're TL, you you don't respect okay. the Jinx steal at all. Like it, it's okay. not a thing that happens. Okay. Okay, okay Powder from Arcane. On. Powder from Arcane, shit on. I'm bat chesting. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Let him die. Let him oh, die. Oh, 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 oh. It's powder. It's actually Wait, no, oh. not powder. It's not powder. It's not powder. Who is it then? Huh. It's it, I don't it know. It's, it's like another arcane character. I don't know who, but it's not powder this time. It's like uh, Victor's assistant. Yeah. Wait, when we say powder, is that and she's. Doing something because Powder is pretty useless in Arcane. I'm not gonna lie. Well, she's the main character. Dude, she's the fucking main character. No, he, all she did was kill her entire team. The bomb. The Boomba? Yeah. Well, Yo, she, bro, 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 bro. Yeah. Wait, she didn't kill her whole is that, team. Is that worth it to pretty much sack your t entire team's tempo for Baron and not be on Soul Point? Like, is that is that worth? I actually, it's, it's a real question. I'm not, I'm not trying to be like super antagonistic because I didn't think they were gonna get the Baron. I, 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 I was getting major PTSD scaling. vibes. Wait, what was your question? Like, would it be more worth it for TL there to instead of doing Baron, get on Soul Point and and then get a fast reset? I and think not, if they you know, obviously it, it's very messy because they went for the Baron, but they got it, which is a big win, and they actually end up even killing Danny off of it, which oh is another really big win. 
I just saw that Danny flash. Yeah, dude, he's just yeah, he flashed into, into the combo. What the fuck? He couldn't have known. He couldn't have known. He got unlucky, like straight up. He couldn't have known that Jarvan was gonna EQ then. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's just random as fuck. Huh. Man, ever since they made Jarvan's combo RNG, the champ's just been so good. <laughs> no, I mean, dude, that shit was just totally random. That he fucking Jarvan EQ'd the same milk, the same frame that he flashes, he gets Jarvan EQ'd like. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, he could have flashed better, I know, but like, he also was one auto off of killing core and getting another reset, so I don't, I don't blame him for doing that play. Well, and I'm not even question, a fucking Danny fanboy. I feel like if they literally get the Baron, it was kind of messy, then I think it's better, but just if they can't uh, get the Baron, it's obviously see troll. Oh my god. Damn, what the dude. fuck is happening? That's that's actually really nice for TL to get or an ulti out of the way, but they need to be careful of Diana now. Diana can actually just fuck everyone up. She has some flash, I guess, is there. It's Man, playing Diana Yasuo when you're like the primary way of starting a fight is actually. Yeah. But he's not, right? Like, they have Orn too. Yeah, I just. I don't know. At this point, it doesn't seem like they do enough without the Diana Yasuo combo, so then it's like TL won't back that. Yeah. And now they're gonna back off with the Baron Recall, and Boipo's in trouble. He's completely isolated. They, they, he, they don't. Flash is down for a bit. Oh, Whippo has no flash. Oh, wait, they, they know Ash caught. has no flash. She's dead. Yeah, Hans just got a fuck. Wait, what? That's the actual what? Oh my god. Oh, wait. What? What's happening? Wait. What's happening? I'm scared. He's actually not dead. Is is Bjergsen gonna die? Or is he. He's. he's... I don't oh. know. Oh my god. <gasps> this is close. It's close. Oh my god. <gasps> Kill everyone. Kill everyone. I, I don't know who's winning this. Looks like. No, EG. no. GG's winning. He's huh. just smashing them. That was them. a chaotic fight. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wow. Damn, dude. What even is Whippo happening? Just made his entire team there. By he standing. did, he did. Or, or was that just a good look by EG? Hard to say. No, I think I think Bippo overstayed more than that would being a good look for EG. Is Bippo gonna flash Prowler's Star or some shit? What's happening here? Prowler's just down. Looking for that barrel though. Damn. Damn. Why is this series so weirdly close? Like, TL just feels way. like they're winning. Yeah, I, I like it. But it's like TL's just yeah. winning and then they fucking drop it hard. Oh my god. Great stun. That Tom Kench W saved the game. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it's the knock up. <laughs> yeah. It's like an unexpected combo. Dude, Santorin actually got. Multiple, like, three-man fight. Yeah, and up. they still lose. And they still lose. That's so crazy. Oh, my God. How bad does it feel to be fucking Santorin? Oh, First dude. game. And this Go one. Ahead. No, Who I mean, like... Crit? One more crit cloak, and that was a one fight. Sure. Why did he stop <laughs> the two? <laughs> oh, brawl, man. Does he know how to build? Jesus. What is he thinking? Orn, Orn, like, giving everyone items at this point makes the gold favored for EG. They're down 2k gold in theory, but because he's upgrading his team's items, they're actually ahead. And that's that's just such a bad spot to be for TL. Is GP really going to solo this while they just... I, I like this play by TL. Their macro seems better. Oh. Oh! Wow. He's... Uh-oh. Maybe dead? Oh, wow. Okay. He's dead anyways. He's Dude, he messed that up, didn't he? He fucking like yeah, flash galed straight oh, line. Hans is Hans is choking. Actually, I'm not even kidding. He's he's choking. He, he's he's constantly getting hit by abilities with flash or gale force up. Like it it doesn't make any sense. Like right there, I I know that like this. You, you say like, oh my god, oh. you got predicted. It's like, dude, you react to Ornold. Oh, Santorin's <gasps> steal. Oh, no steal. No steal. Flash out though. Wait, uh, impact? impact? Hold up. No, no, no. Baiting. Fine. Baiting. Everyone's yeah, dead now. Everyone's dead. Wait. Everyone's dead. And it can keep going. Go, keep going. Keep going. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just two. <laughs> impact with the big bait. Is EG really about to go up 2 0 on TL without taking dragons on purpose? So weird. Huh. <laughs> it's just the play. 
I mean, is TL so cocky that they're going to give Jinx again? Like, please, use your brain for the next game. You're getting smurfed on, like, hard as fuck. They play Jinx DK, like, really well outside of lane. We don't talk about laning phase. They get smacked, but... Yeah, dude, both games, they got absolutely, like, eviscerated early laning phase. Yeah. If Jinx can still pop off after having a laning phase like that, I really feel like he's not give Like, I feel, what other champion can recover from that kind of early game? Yeah. Not many. No, yeah, you're totally right. She didn't actually die this game, right? She just got shit on. I'm pretty sure dying would have been... <sighs> better. <laughs> not as bad for him as what happened. Yeah. Poor's in... Poor's dead. Oh, oh no. Poor's dead. No! Or made the crucial mistake of picking Zyra. Oh? Mm -hmm. Wait? Mm -hmm. Huh. Seemed like a waste. Oh, yeah, I can choose my mic settings. Why? Ow! Oh my god! The crit comes in! Does he have IE? I don't think so, right? No. Unless he literally just got it. He has enough gold. I mean, core, core feeding at this point almost doesn't matter since he's playing Zyra. His useful period ha expired a long time ago. Like, now he's just a fucking warm body and a root. A warm and... body? And... Are you sure he's not a cold corpse? I mean, he's a, he's a cold corpse right now. Oh, God. This Look at the momentum swing from 25 minutes till now. The last six minutes has been like a fucking 10k gold swing for EG. I was trying to think about the Orn GP matchup. It does seem like GP has been doing pretty good this game. Like, with the ults and stuff. Yeah. He's having a lot of impact. Yeah. That was e EG's top laner, though. Yeah, his name's Impact. That's true. <laughs> I guess he, he could have a lot no, of he, He's been doing good. I think I think Bippo can be proud of this game so far. It's just that EG is just bot diffing and fucking... Honestly, just, just out playing in every fight. Uh. Dude, this is my least favorite macro play in the game. That everyone grouped the top lane strat for bot. I mean, Danny's one auto from killing the turret, but he's getting pushed out now. One minute on drag. I wonder what Teal's going to do. For me, this is when you do the Desperation Hail Mary and you go for the drag. Like, this is the best chance you have to win. The, the longer the game goes... Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're sorry, if you're TL. The longer the game goes, the less chance you have of winning. Right here, you can get first setup and you can potentially... This is like a very, very big stretch. 40 seconds on the drag. They can burst the drag down before EG has a chance to respawn. Like, EG needs to forcibly enter River, and like, I think it's... Oh my god, Insp I, I hate what Inspired's doing. He has he doesn't have enough time, I think, now. How are they going to get in? I guess or I guess or Impact can check. just like walk up. Yeah. They just roll it down mid. Oh, hmm? he's looking. Ooh. Uh, I, I would actually be pretty happy with that if I'm TL, no Diana all. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? They're gonna give soul I for for mid and like this just is gonna, soul as fuck. I think, they I could think literally end the game. the game. Yeah. For soul, I don't think this is that I, good. I don't think they end. I don't think they end. Hey. Yeah, Jing soul, stop recall. That's you'll pretty smart. You'll never end here. Now you're just giving soul. Like what the fuck is going on here? GP's not here. He's gonna have to play. TP. They're gonna back door yeah. top. No. Now, now they, uh, now they arrow OP. timing. Arrow, 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 arrow. Oh, so slow. I think you should just, just fucking send it. Like, just try it. Oh, well. I'm surprised they didn't want to take that, EG. Yeah. I, I, I feel like it was actually a decent play from both sides. Like, I think EG... E, EG just doesn't care enough about Dragon in my mind. But, like, from the position they were in, where they would have had to face check Yell in the river there, um, I... I think it kind of made sense, especially like once they traded the Diana all for TF Flash. I don't, I don't think them giving Soul yeah. Schmid was did open the base. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think that EG, I saw what they're looking for, and I understand they thought they could end, but like, I don't, I don't think they're giving the enemy team enough respect if you think you're gonna end with the in with. You know, with the inhib up, like it takes time to take the first turret, it takes time to take the inhib, and then it takes time for your minions to like walk to the nexus. And at that point, like the enemy team's already in base, you're you're not gonna fight a freshly based team on their nexus when they're all alive. 
like you can make the guess like oh i think that gp is i think that gp is selling drag maybe we take the 5v 5v4 on on nexus turrets but i, I still think that would be really tough for them to do because you know you're still forcing on two nexus turrets it's not easy for you to get a good fight it hexec actually like, looks like it's low value this game for tl the yeah they don't have a ton of range to like shoot shit with yeah that's true Zyra might be actually, funnily enough, like one of the better Hextech users in this game, just because she can poke. But yeah, like I feel like it's just scary for her to walk up and even try. Because they're not I, like I like, ahead. I like what EG's doing. I, I think I think that this is really good. Uh, I think that um. Hang on. No, I, th I think like, like forcing the enemy team to to walk at you is really good. Now this is good for impact. Let me see the ulti. Boom! Nothing. Just flash. Poor flash. Ooh, so tense, so tense. The next one ulti is going to hit hard then. Core can't be in position to get hit with it. Same as Diana initiation. Because TF has no flash too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Do it again. Do it again. You don't take damage. There's no downside to starting Baron. GP ult is back this, up. This late in the game, you're like, I don't think HP bars are moving. Nope. Impact's fucking 95% health. Yeah, I think it's Jesus. just the, the the GP ult while you're at Baron is not gonna be. Yeah, that's true. But Impact's fishing. He he wants another ult. Like he just wants to spam that shit on CD. And like the more flashes that they can get down for Elder, the better it's for EG. I don't but think they're thinking about that. Allowed to walk oh. the way he's just, walking? No, I don't think it so. doesn't look he's like it. He's going. dead. Or is dead. And Danny's resetting. Ralts is dead here. Oh. Okay. Did he forget that he used flash? That was so weird. That was just. Yeah, this whole game is just defined by being really, really weird. Now they get to do value. Baron, I think. Life. I, oh, I, I think oh, they get oh, to do oh, it. Oh, oh. Yes, cleanse. Cleanse. Flash. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! What a combo by Santorin. Yeah. But is does it doesn't matter. Oh, he's. Santorin uh... Zonia is. He's flash. He's flash. Okay, he's alive. Danny has no sums now. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Oh, it kind of looks like they, they get the Baron. EG here. You, you think that EG it. gets Baron? Yeah. I think TF is going to TP back in. No? No, he doesn't have it. He has his ult. Just ults. But... They're going to flip, I guess. By Santorin. Oh, wait. Oh, he gets oh. Oh, he got it. oh, my God. Redemption. Wow. Hey, look at the death timers. He's yeah, alive. He's... 13 seconds before Elder. It's just barely enough for him to be there for like the next smite off. Because he can take the hex gate and then he can probably get there in time. But this is so fucking close. Second in a map? Am I, am I stupid? Oh, it's like 12. Yeah, it's it, like 11, 12 like ish. I, next, I, I don't know. I, I think either way though, it's he won't. Be alive fast enough to actually be at Elder when it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But he'll be there right as it dies if the enemy team does choose to 50-50 it. I think Santorin couldn't possibly have fucking seen what? that. Oh God. Fuck this combo there. Jinx those trap. traps in the wall. Jinx traps uh. in the wall. That's what I was gonna say. You, you, you're no way you're looking at those Jinx traps as you're EQing the wall. You're looking at Baron's HP. Yeah, I so he didn't place, know. So I didn't notice Jinx traps. Yeah. I mean, I would. Imagine. I was trying yeah, to find look, out what Rudim... Look, Santorin's oh. looking to just barely be there. He doesn't have flat. Oh my... <gasps> oh my god. Teal's gonna win! Teal's gonna win! Teal's gonna kill them all! Wait, wait, wait. Wait a sec. Wait, How are they... What? How are they winning? Oh. How are they winning? Oh? Wait. Oh my... I mean, they're just aiming <laughs> enough, right? Like, if, if you never actually get to the 20% health for Elder, it doesn't do anything. What the fuck? How could you lose a team fight with Elder and Hextech Soul? I don't know. What? That is pretty weird. Huh. Hansama, dude, play the fucking clip again. Hansama has to have died with Gale Force Flash Up. He has to have died. Let me see it. How could you ever lose this fight? You have I don't know, to dude. just mechanically misplay. I need to watch what Hans did. Like, I, I, I can't believe it. Let me see it. 
I mean, Santorin's dead for just running up like that. You're kidding me. He got walk up Diana ulted. Yeah. That's how he died? No sums, I guess. <laughs> No, how, no that, that, that's not, that, is that not a bug, or am I crazy? Look, look at his sums on the screen. This, the ha fight happened 30 seconds ago. How is his flash up now, but not for that fight? I'm confused. I, I mean, in the replay, it, it is flash was it, down. I'm not sure. I don't know. That, so that shit's was, always it bugged. Was down? Yeah, I guess it's a bug. I don't know. Holy shit. I can't believe... They could lose that, but I understand. I like if Hans dies, then it, it, and already like Santorin sacrificed himself nobly for the steal. So, still 40 so seconds much on of Elder. This game is on Whippo. Hmm? I said I think so much of this game for TL is on Whippo. I don't know mm -hmm. if my mic's cutting out. Like getting a good barrel. No, yeah, yeah. You're you're right. You're right. I yeah, thought you had I, more I mean, to add like, to that. Um, yeah, just. The rest of TL doesn't really do very much damage. I, mean, I guess they have Hex Tech so uh, supplement it a little bit, but if I'm EG, I would honestly just consider like doing some fucking Yolo engage, like send in your like Yasuo Diana to just trade into. G I feel like even if they both die to kill GP, it's still like they're probably gonna win. Yeah. Th this GP build is so squishy. He actually doesn't have anything offensive in his build. Yeah, I totally agree. Like. TF's comp, or TL's comp's made out of paper. If they, regardless of soul or whatever, if they can just one-shot anyone on TL, either Hans or Bwipo, they, they could probably just win the fight off that alone. Because Jinx is going to reset off that. You're going to get a ton of value off of just going in. Just doing damage. Trading any sort of punches, you're going to end up ahead if you're EG. But like, one thing I just randomly thought about is... Ultra, ultra late game. Zyra scales like shit. That's, everyone knows that. She, she's a horrible support. That's why she's never picked. But she, ultra, ultra late game, you actually are useful. You could have like Deathcap, Voidstaff, Shadowflame, Leandries, or some shit like that, and just be like a full item mage. And then you actually do scale. Do you see how much HP Jinx has by now, right now? It's because of overgrowth. What did she have? Broken. I didn't see. It, it is a pretty broken rune. It's Soul completely broken. It's it's infinite scaling HP as the game goes oh, on. L look at her HP bar when when it goes back on her. Infinite. She, she, I think she probably. Uh, she probably has like two hundred or three hundred HP. Four. Right. Yeah, two point like three or four. Yeah, two point three or four. She probably has like a like three hundred HP value so far, but it's just gonna keep growing over time. Wait, what's happening? Oh. Wait, JoJo oh, got I, chunkied. From what? Yeah, he got he got barrel comboed right there. Oh. What did Danny sell his roots for? Was it PD? Yeah, it was PD. Some zeal item. Pada. Uh... Yeah. Tense game. Orn is so OP right now. It takes him forever to die, but any CC that he has is instant death. Yeah, GP's really strong too, though. Oh, Baron's Yeah, funny. but... He, he is, he is. If he hits a really good barrel, that's like fucking insane. But like, it's so much easier for impact to hit something imp like uh -oh. something that's gonna one shot than it is for GP. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, he's what? getting comboed. He has oh, flash. He's of TK. He has his Tom Kench. Santorin went in. That was really Oh cool. my oh, god. Again. Why are they going for Han? Wait, oh, Bjergsen. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh my they god. Lost. They lost. Danny's gonna it, kill him again. It, it's just GG. Yeah. Who can go for the oh, wave? They have a I wave there go. with that cannon, yeah. Over, he has to recall. Over, over. Huh. Wow. I, I, I guess that was going to be over. Mistake. Just not going for GP, but a... Wait. Wait, Whippo? Wait, Whippo? Smurfing? He's smurfing? The double? Wait, Whippo can... I don't think he can stop it. Actually, no, maybe. 1v2 now. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Seconds? They have a long time. They oh, never mind. Never Nexus. mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill Nexus. it's gone. Yeah, kill Nexus, no. Wow. Damn. Wow. This is actually an insane series. How many times are we gonna see Hans die with fucking everything up, dude? Like, he's or playing, playing so Ash. bad. Yeah, like, fucking just Ash. <laughs> stop it. He's good at Ash, just take him off this champ. Make him play some good shit. Like, it's actually embarrassing watching this. He did play Zaya first game, but...
His Zaya was good, know. but the one mistake where he like flashed max range tethered Aatrox ult W and like still got pulled back, that was a really big mistake to make. He was yeah. set up for success that game. Like he got a free kill, he was the richest player in the game, and then towards the end he just couldn't keep his lead. So Yeah, I mean they're they're shitting on bot lane. But it's yeah, just not really amounting to anything. Like me just saying they should just ban jinx. i I was just telling my stream, like, um was playing Valorant with Tactical couple a couple days ago and he said the same thing that we were kind of saying which is like TL's team fighting looks kind of bad and like we, we've been we've been watching team liquid up to this point and it's like how do they win you know i don't i feel like they win because a couple players on their team are having like an amazing game you know santorin's having an amazing game bjergsen having an amazing game hans having an amazing game whatever but like i never watch their team fighting and i'm like wow that was just beautiful you know they just they know how to fight together i think that's where 100 Thieves really shines for me. Like, that's why I think 100 Thieves is the best out of the remaining teams, because in a best of five series, you not you can't avoid team fights, and it always feels like the best team fighting team wins LCS. And, mm. uh, yeah, I, I don't see it with TL, but I do think they can do better with drafts. Like, they can make, they can make their lives easier. <clears throat> Did they just first pick Ezreal? What the hell? What? Ezreal and Jinx? One Did two. they misclick? That's not real. This is not real! These picks are so shit! Just play Victor! Just play Good fucking turn. Corky! Like, why are we forcing Hello. TF every game? I don't know, dude. Wait, double Dino. You know? Why are we picking TF with Ezreal, the shittiest early game pressure champ in the game? You're never killing bot lane with Ezreal TF. That's true. I can't understand it. I don't understand it. You don't even see their top laner. If Whipple plays Orn here, TF has no value again. Dude, I think they're actually, this is a script for a game five. Like, this is how you do it. Let, let, let's need, let's talk a them. little bit about this draft. I think Jinx is not a priority pick for EG unless Tom Kench is up because you wouldn't want to play Jinx against a lot of a lot of long range engage like Nautilus or Orn or even playing Jinx against TF without without Tom Kench. So I think like because the first two games they played Jinx TK, TL thinks that they don't need to worry about Jinx because Tom Kench is banned and they first pick Nautilus and it kind of blocks the pick. And I think EG is like, okay, that's fair. We handshake that. Like you pick Nautilus, and we don't have Tom Kench, so we're not allowed to pick Jinx. So they try to pick something else. What they ended up picking is so bad. But then I think they kind of redeem it a little bit by picking Trundle and Orin. Meteos is talking about that. Trundle is really good against Orin. This is actually the other thing I asked Blabber when I was talking to him. Is I was asking like about the Trundle. Like, why aren't people picking Trundle early to like deter the Orin pick? And he said some people do, but like they still just pick Orin anyway. He said it's like not enough yeah. to deter into they're, 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 like, People will be fine with it, right? It's the same as the Trundle Olaf matchup from a long time ago. Also, sorry, uh, Singy, can you up your threshold again? Here we go. Is this the final game? Or the Teal reverse sweep? I mean, I think I think Teal is poised to win this one. They I are think poised. Not only are they on comfort picks this game, but they... They put the enemy team off their comfort picks. Like, I don't think that Danny's that comfortable playing Ezreal. And I don't think JoJo looked good on TF at all. Actually, he was legit feeding when he was playing he, TF the first game. He was actually he, useless. He didn't, didn't make a single good Ez. port play the whole game. Yeah. So, why the only person who Ez? seems comfortable... What's up? I was saying, why did they blind Ezreal? Like, hold up. I don't know. I think it's totally moronic. Oh. Like, what... What is causing you to... There's so many picks, right? Like, you could pick Zaya against Nautilus. That makes sense. That's an amazing blind pick, and that's, like, one of the most popular AD carry picks in the world. And you're not picking it. Why? I don't know. Zaya counters Nautilus. But you're picking Ezreal instead, one of the most counterable AD carry blinds in the game. And, and, and then not only are you doing that, you're picking it with TF, and now you have a zero damage comp. TF wants to play with someone who can carry, like, do big damage. Zeri... Jinx, Tristana, you don't want to play with fucking Ezreal or Ash. Those champs are just bad. Mm-hmm. As a combo. Well, 
We'll oh. see though. Holy shit, oh Bjergsen just going in that ass. That's aggressive. He's losing this trade. Yeah. He did whiff the E. Okay, both junglers looking mid. He's crazy. Actually, I don't think Jojo oh. dies here. Yeah, I don't think he dies. Is it even a flash? Yep. It's mm. definitely. Is that worth for Santorin? I mean, he did do his bot camps already, kind of. Yeah, it it doesn't feel too bad if you're Santorin here. So that's only worth if they cash in on the kill. A summoner disadvantage only manifests itself into like an actual advantage if the player without flash dies. But like, I wonder if TL's the kind of team, I mean, they have been oh, the kind of team in the past. Showed. Wait, Dog piling is, top. Yeah, this is this, is this looks guy really before. bad. This looks really bad. You shouldn't go for this. It's nothing. No, oh. it's nothing. Oh. Oh god, dude! If impact hit a Q there. Damn, yeah. dude. Hit Leo actually looks so pressured right now. The way they're playing. Santorin. But just that's a good play. Level three. Uh, Th yeah, that, that was a good play. Bad. I think it's Jojo loses just the fact a lot. that. Lee went for the mid gank and then did this top gank, so he's just legit not farming. Yeah. Mm. No, I, I totally get what you're saying. Like, and I think, I think the mindset going into that play could have been really like hectic. But I think Santorin is smart and he's not he's not playing like he's pressured. And that was that was a great play because not only did they get TF's flash, they got him to TP top and just get turbo fucked. Now his wave is frozen, and he has no sums. I wonder if I'm gonna see Core just like walk him in and just start camping his ass. Oh, he's going to Golems. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh! Solo kill, <gasps> solo kill, solo kill. No? No flash no. either. Wow. Hmm. So lucky. Holy That's shit. That's on the so EG lucky. bingo card. TF's Impact again. solo kill. He, I feel like we yeah. could just die. It's, it's Wait. risky though. Wait. Santorin needs to get out of here. It's crazy how much he's sacrificing to help his laners. Yep. Yeah, I mean, this if is... he wasn't there, it Bwipa would have gotten dove. Like, he is doing so much right now. Yeah, just not really converting into a kill just yet. Just pressure plays. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. But like, I, I, I don't know. He, he's playing. He's playing well. He's at the right place at the right time. Like. If his teammates cannot convert these advantages that he's he's handing them to, to something, I'm gonna be really sad because, or I'd be really pissed. Like he fucked himself over on farm so that he could blow both mid sums and stop a gank, stop a dive. Like, I want to see Bjergsen or Bupo like do something good. Yeah, I guess we didn't uh, see it. So I, I think it's. Weird. I didn't see it. I think this way Santorin's playing is actually like pretty good against Inspired because Inspired like just just doesn't give a fuck about dragons. I, I really think when you're playing Trundle, this should be a five minute dragon on cooldown type of game. Oh. I don't know, man. Is it real? Looks yeah, like it. Yeah, it's real. How disgusting is Core JJ? Please, where man. He goes... giving you dragon. You can't just not take it. <laughs> yeah, he's taking it. He's taking it. How fucking good is Core? The one he's not on Zyra. Finally, something good happened for for Team Liquid after so much like setup. It's like JoJo's flash is back up now. Him not having TP doesn't even matter. They didn't convert anything off of that. I feel like Bjergsen is really underperforming. I don't know Ooh. what's going on with this guy. I think this guy's dead. Bonk. Yeah, he's dead. Ooh. He's dead. Holy moly. I, I, I don't understand how Oh shit, oh shit. I like the I like the patience there from both teams not to go too hard. Like think about how the game went. He's he's losing his lane, he gets a gank. And then his lane TPs away, and after all that happens, both sums blown, he still is allowed to roam top, and then that roam gets stuffed. Okay? So now it's like he's gotten three instances of help from Sant from Santorin helping him two times, and then the third time from his from blocking uh, TF's roam. And after all that, he still makes the first good play of, of, of the game between mid, where he just ports top and kills Orn. It's like, I don't really believe that, like, 
we're really playing that great if that's what's happening. That's, that yeah. really shouldn't happen. I think that either Silas should be able to pressure TF at that point, or we should be seeing, like, Silas making the first play. But it's, neither of those things are happening. It's weird that Bjerg's down in XP now. Yeah, he, he is not Whoa. playing good. Oh, he's so gone. This is the trundle, dude. Yep. Just eating alive. He just melts. Yeah. Damn, he got schmelted there. Jesus. Is is Silas supposed to take over mid lane versus TF? It's like the pseudo counter pick, right? Or is this? Uh, the I don't I mean, think he, I don't think he's supposed he to get rolled lane. this hard. <laughs> Not I mean, necessarily I, getting like, rolled, right? I mean, like he's just getting out roamed. But I mean, may, maybe Silas is supposed to neutralize it. I don't know hmm. what the theory behind the matchup is. Because to me, I, I was saying before... Oh. Bye-bye. Damn, that was a nice, nice. kick. Well played, With the Sanborn. amount of resources he's getting, if he doesn't outperform TF after this point, it's really, it's really, really a bad look. Like, he is really getting everything handed to him for free. He's not even playing his lane 1v1. It's like legit either mm -hmm. 1v0 while TF is TPing top or roaming, or he's only playing fights with his jungler. Which I think is fine. Like, I don't think there's any shame in fighting a strong mid 2v2 and fighting with your jungler. That's a lot of matchups, but yeah, I, I just, I don't think it should be going super one-sided, especially now. Would like to see some proactive plays from mid. So much investment, and like, Whippo is, Whippo's 0-2, but he's actually pretty rich. I hope they bring up the gold, because he got a lot of gold just now as well. Wait, what did he get a lot of gold from? Plates. Oh wait, no, oh. no, I'm trolling. That was Hans oh. that got the place. Damn, Kor did a fucking oopsie. Jesus. <laughs> He's a little deep. How did he get in there? What the fuck? I think he hex flashed over the wall and then didn't realize that it was enemy team <laughs> there. Like, I think he thought that they were making a fast play. Hey but guys. No, they're ready. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Cancel flash. Just like me. Oh. Canceled. Oh my god. TL's team play, man. I think Santorin's having the series of his fucking life right now. Even though he's losing, he's down 0 2, but I, I seriously think Santorin is like playing so well this whole playoffs. It will be so sad to see him get 3 0'd. Especially you being don't deserve a, it. a jungler on the receiving end of that Danny play, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't even yeah. think it was all the series. Man. I mean, the fact that he's able to continue playing well after that happened, like, that's super fucking impressive. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh. Amazing. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, wow. Yes, he, he couldn't move something. for... Let's fucking go. Dude, how long could he not move there? Fucking Wait. six seconds straight? Was that Lock a brittle... Yeah. I think it was a brittle bonus fucking Leona ult, right? Yeah, it was. Why he's stunned so fucking long. Oh, on the Leona ulti stolen. I see. Yeah, you're right. That is true. Yeah, that's what For I want to see, right? Like, I want to see this Silas, who has been spoon-fed a free early game, start pushing his lane and making plays. And it's not as simple as, like, oh, just kill him, forehead. But, like, you definitely should move so that your teammates can pressure. And not everyone is going to respect that timing. Their impact did not respect the timing and died. Maybe next time, he just helps his teammates get a push out or helps his teammates clear wards. Regardless, moving from mid is like, you know, it's like incredibly overpowered. Everyone knows that. Like having a pushing and roaming mid just creates all these tiny advantages all the time. Or massive ones, like kills. Yeah, I mean, especially in a matchup like this, this is yeah. one of those matchups where as jungler, like your primary goal is just ganking mid repeatedly because like you're saying, once your mid laner has the prio, you can get vision. Once you have the like vision, you can just keep the prio, move around everywhere. Oof. This bot lane matchup is actually looking rough right now. Rough, rough, rough. Wow, I think Danny's really on curve. He got a kill, which was really, really big. Especially when you're playing a tier champion, getting that early kill can really mean the difference of like taking over a mid game fight or not. And like, if Danny's on track to get man immune. He's going to be really strong by this next drag. 
I don't have a lot of hopes for Team Liquid to win this next fight. Like, three minutes from now? It's like pretty far into the future, but... Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, miss. once he gets some your mana, he'll be really strong, but before that point, yeah. he's very weak. Yeah. He doesn't really do anything. Oh! What oh, the shit. hell? Core's dead. Core just, Core's Core's just getting... Mega dead. Can TL fight oh. this? It looks pretty this bad. This looks so terrible. Hans yeah, TL's gone. getting left. Oh, oh my god. god. Are we about to see a 3-0? TL just can't team fight. Like, they are just too? one of the worst team fighting teams in the league, straight up. Oh my... Wow. Wow. Santorin's wow, feeling Sa so desperate. I think what he did just saved Bjergsen's life. On accident. Completely because like he thought he could kill Leo there. Bjergsen was able to walk away since he drew aggro. Mm hmm you say Teal's a bad team fighting team? Like, like what is it? Is it... Oh, th you're cutting out Hella, by the way. Really? You're cutting out Hella, what were you saying? I said, when we say Teal's a bad team fighting team, like, I, I guess we can watch it here. It's just them getting initiated on, really. Like, Core's yeah. just dead for free. Core just insta dead. Yeah, I mean, they, they weren't Yerkson's really just ready not for the fight. Here yet. I mean, a lot of team fighting is the setup, it's how it starts. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's. I mean, this one I would put mostly on Core. I guess because yeah. you know he he walked up without like against a TF without having his team ready he threw a hook at Leona whiffed yeah Thorn ulti also went sideways but that's a really chaotic fight like everyone's every angle it's not easy to position your ult it's a straight line but you're in the middle of four people what are you gonna do I I don't know let there be a fight. You know, not just a fucking rollover and get 3 0'd. Eight seconds on this drag, and as well spiked up the ass. I don't even think TL should try. Oh, Bjergsen's gonna die now. Bye bye. Wait, can he outplay? He's turning into Aatrox, big heal. No. Big, wow, that oh my no, god. He no, he's dead as fuck. Oh, oh but on the other this, side, this, they this, get engaged This is really good. This is good. This is good. It is really good. It's Blyre! Does he die? No! Oh, he does! He does! Nice. Signs of life for TL. Is TL turning into a good team fight team? <laughs> Maybe. We might be seeing it unfold before our very eyes. Oh, Han's taking it right there. What? Uh, Whippo? What? Oh. Well, that's not a good team fighting team play. <laughs> Or oh could my die. god, could wait. Die. It's fucking close. Give one more Q on Jojo! Oh my god. Oh, this is Here's the TP's in! Oh! Oh, but he whiffs! Oh my god, and then Core dies randomly. Dude, <laughs> Santorin is playing so well. Dude, it's actually crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy how good he's playing, yeah. It, it, I, I really don't want Santorin to get 3 out. I know. Like this. He's playing out of his fucking mind. Wait, Hans has to flash, maybe? No, never mind. I mean, the fight goes on. This this team fight has lasted for like two minutes now. I don't think they should do it. They can't. They're gonna get poked by Ezreal now. Yeah, get. Oh, oh my God! Oh shit! Is he? St Wait. Bjergsen's kind of getting caught. He has. No, Bjergsen's missing every ability, man. Can I see one of those E's land? Oh okay, my give it to EG. God. It's EG's. It's EG's. It's oh, EG's. Oh man, I really think they had a kill angle on Trundle there. If Bjergsen went on him, but he was going for like the the hero play on Ezreal. We put just TP'd in and fucking oh, got killed <laughs> for like 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> How do you turn off the beep booping chat? <laughs> What's gonna happen here? I can kind of hear the crowd going nuts. Something is happening soon, but what is it? Something is happening soon. That's some really high tier analysis that I come here for. <laughs> <laughs> there is a dragon coming. And it is EG's soul. Is that a fucking... Is that a whistle? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, that was something. Oh, hold up. Impact kind of face checking. 
Bjergsen misses the no. E. No, the Q goes wide. Impact's healing too much. They won't kill him. Oh he shit, oh my side. god. He's dead as fuck, Bjergsen. Oh, right? hold on, he Wait. healed too. Oh! Wait. Why did what he use the Aatrox at the end? Wait. Bjergsen, you're trolling your ass off. No. Dude. He misplayed that, that that's so GG. many different ways. It's literally GG. They just get soul. And they yeah, killed four they people. Get soul and, kill Dude, everyone. and it's Baron. Okay. Bjergsen didn't use the Aatrox ult during the fight. And then yo, he yeah. could have lived at the end. If you if you like get out of Trundle's vision, his ult stops hurting you. Wait, so really? he could have yeah, he could have flashed out of vision and Trundle's ult would have I not killed him. Literally I didn't know that. Wait, what? Like, that's Are real. you sure? That sounds troll as they change it, that's how it was, yeah. I played a lot of Trundle. Bjergsen is actually playing like shit. Like, I... I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm seeing this. Bjergsen's playing like total shit. Like, Wait, why, it, why would he have saved... Did he actually save Aatrox ult for the end? Like, why wouldn't he just use... Is that something you ever hold? No, you know, 100 percent you just, you send it. No, out, I mean what? it's it's a buff, right? Like it's a buff that gives you vamp and healing. Like, of course you would want to use it in the middle of yeah. a, lo a long extended fight. Like, how could he, how could he not use an ability that gives him like move speed and vamp in a fight like that, until until he's almost dead? I'm just I'm shocked. I need like, to replay. He had flash up too. He didn't flash a single ability. What does he do? He ever Are TLs, like summoner spells just like broken or what? Ult, ult. He takes it. Use it. He just doesn't use it. it. Use it. Yeah, he's actually holding it. What are we waiting for? He did huh. two different Ws with Aatrox ult taken, but didn't press it. Huh. Wow, this is like unreal. Bjergsen is not having a good day today. I mean, this is his last day of the fucking split then. <laughs> yeah, I mean. He can't have bad days anymore. It It is unlucky. I, I will say like. He came. He's coming off a year break. I think it's kind of similar to Fudge, where like, you know, they both didn't have goals of winning Spring. They were saying like, you know, I'm gonna be good by Worlds. So, you know, unforced, yeah. but it does happen. Oh, yeah. great man once told me Spring doesn't matter. Yeah, Spring split does not matter at all. I heard a no, really, it, really good player say that. It doesn't. <laughs> it it does when MSI is happening, guys. Oh, so it matters. Oh, which one is it, Mr. Lift? Yeah, it's so weird how the only time I said Spring Split doesn't matter is the split that I learned that some MSI was canceled a week into the split. That's weird. Mm. You know, as soon as the Nexus dies, I'm legit just running over to the stage to do the MSI draw. <laughs> like, That's right hilarious. That is funny. Literally abandoning us? What the fuck? What the hell? We're yep. going to be watching the MSI draw thinking about you, man. And looking, looking at, at you. you, it's gonna be. Epic. Anyways, all the all the climactic like all the anticipation is kind of dead now with how the game will end because Ocean Soul is just too much to, to overcome. You're, you're not. Oh you're not yeah, outplaying it's so shit. much region. Mm. Yo, it is it is <laughs> you guys are trying to tell me Mountain Soul better? XD. Medius is already getting the call. Oh, really? All right. Medius is getting called uh -oh. up to the stage. Wait, are you spoiling it? Uh, I think Ichi <laughs> might win this one. Oh, it's, it's just a yeah, maybe. A big maybe. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Danny's kind of low, but he's about to heal from Soul. So, yeah. Wait, it's actually just over. Wait, yeah, they over. could not end here. I haven't been spoiled yet. It, it might not be over. Yeah, I think it might be over. Actual 3-0? From Egg? Wow. What the fuck? Wow. Hey, yo, Egg? Damn, I'm happy for EG. But... That's insane. I feel so bad when I think about y'all. Dude, think of the finals now. 100 Thieves and Egg. I know, it's gonna be sick as hell. I love... Mm -hmm. I love watching two scrappy teams fight it out. Big balls. Maybe some summoner spells will be pressed in the finals. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe when <laughs> Silas takes an ulti there, he's gonna he's gonna actually use the ulti. I don't understand that, man. Okay, like uh, the the understand the part I get about it is he didn't want to take it because it's such a shit ult. So he took it later because the fight turned into a real fight, right? Yeah, yeah. And then he just didn't use it after he took it. Like once he took it. He's just committed to using it already. 
Yeah, of course, he's committed, for sure. Like, like holding the initial one, I, I see what you're saying. Like, you're, you're not sure if there will be a better ult to steal later in the fight. Yeah. Yeah. But your your back's to the wall. There's a fucking gun to your head, and you're about to die. Like, of course you're gonna take whatever ult you can and use it. He just forgot the second part. Aatrox That's so insane, man. Pretty meh for Silas. Like, yeah, he gets a little healing, but. I, like, compared to what else he could get, like, Leona ult is actually so OP. Yeah. For Silas. Ezreal ult's okay. <sighs> Dude. I don't want to do my boy so dirty, like, because me and Soren are, are still friends, but, like, it's got to feel shitty to come in and take Jensen's job and play like that. I know he's going to... He's going to hate his play. He's going to feel worse about his play than any one of the TL fans out there could, could feel. Like, he knows. He's that kind of guy. Like, he probably feels so fucking bad about how he played, and it feels horrible to come in and kind of break up a good team. Like, TL was a really good team. Even last year, even with all the fucking drama with Alfari and Jad and, like, Jenkins getting subbed in and shit, like, they were a good team. They couldn't win because I was still playing. Actually, uh, no, wait, that was actually, sorry, that was, that was 2020. Uh, uh, but the last, the last iteration of TL couldn't win because, well, other teams were just a little bit better. But I don't think any of it was Jensen's fault. I am joined by the young carries of Evil Geniuses. A 3-0 against Team Liquid. For Danny to get yet another pentakill, you have moved up in the standings. Woo! Now tied for second, a five-way tie for second in number of pentakills. Can you walk me through that tied for a bit? Second. You Wait, chat lied? River. It looked like buying the time. Liars. To to make that happen. Bastards. Yeah, I mean, uh, before I was even in the mid lane, they said uh, they're all really low and uh, they're just doing the Baron and it's like actually Jinx Pentakill, like they predicted it. And surprisingly, they're right. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe that this actually worked because if I was, a s I mean, it's surprising. It's really surprising. <laughs> He's in disbelief. He's in disbelief. That was even How real. How the fuck could they let me walk up like that? <laughs> Literally. We kind of have a crowd buff, I feel like. So. I mean, I feel like the other team usually gets nervous when there's a crowd, but we kind of embrace the crowd because we love the crowd. So I feel like that's why we play so much better. Ooh, Teal crowd nervous? Is this true? Teal crowd nervous when they're this fucking five industry veterans. Okay. <laughs> okay. Of watching the first game with parents, actually. You got to have that confidence going into the rest of the weekend because this isn't the end of the journey. The reigning champions await you in tomorrow's matchup. Hundred Thieves. How do you think that's going to go? I really think we are going to 3-0 them. Because I think they're not that good. But to Holy! Humble, to be humble, it could be 3-0, 3-1. 3-1. Maybe 3-1. Yeah. Is that just to be humble? The just to be humble. Just to yeah. be humble. Okay. So you're Jesus. not the prediction as well then, 3-1? If we're humble, yeah, 3-1. Okay. I feel like <laughs> the if undertone we're humble. is 3-0 though. Also, to add on my note, um, I thought TL was a better team than 100 Thieves, and the fact that we swept them, I mean, it could, it could end up poorly for them. All right. Dude, super teams almost never work out. Like, oh, they hardly ever work out. How many times have we heard the idea of a super team and it just ends up, like, fucking exploding? It's the egos, Thank man. You. Well, maybe not egos, yeah. but, like, too many voices a lot. Yeah, it's like too many cooks in the kitchen, right? Like, there's not enough followers. You have five leaders. All of them have their own distinct way of seeing the game. And I, I knew in the very beginning, I was like, I don't think that Core's ideas about the game and Bjergsen's are gonna are gonna work together. They're just too different. And I played with both of them for so fucking long. Like, I, I, I just knew it immediately that like they're both individually great players, but it's so, it would be really hard for them to see the game the same way. They're just yeah, I mean, freaky. I definitely can't speak to their mentality, but definitely most teams Bjergsen on or Bjergsen is on is very much the same playstyle. Like you've been saying it, it's just like the slow, methodical, like we scale type of gameplay. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think Core is. I don't think he's necessarily no. against that, but not quite the same. Because then, and I mean, that would literally lead to like why their team fights are just so awkward. It's just because. Like, what, what we're saying, like, they just aren't ready to fight. Like, 
they're just not prepared for this fight to break out because they're yeah. all thinking about different ways of approaching it, and then they just get caught off guard. Like, oh, fuck, we're dead. I think, like, the best way that I could describe it is Core is very, like, off the cuff. You know what I mean? Like, Core, like, sees an angle, and he says, and he, in, his, in his mind, he knows that it's an angle, like, in the from the bottom of his heart, and he'll just fucking go. He can't explain it. It just looks right. Yeah. It, it's like that eyeball test. Bjergsen yeah. is totally the opposite, you know? He's not, like, the eyeball a new situation, like, play, play like, expecting mistakes, play expecting uh, your teammate to get caught, play expecting, like, I don't know, just some, some random shit to happen. I, I always would, like, prefer Core JJ in that situation, but, like, the slow methodical game, the zero kill game, no one's better than Bjergsen. I feel like for both of them, they don't compliment each other at all. Uh huh. But sounds right as fuck. Obviously, that's that's something that can be fixed by summer split. Like they spent fucking the most out of any team in LCS <laughs> you're not, you're on this roster after one bad split. There's no way you're going to the next split and saying, "I'm fucking paying everyone a million dollars plus, excluding like signing bonuses and buyouts." I'm like. If, if we're not winning summer split, you guys are fucking, you guys are gone. Something's wrong here. Yeah, someone's getting the axe. <laughs> I don't think you do anything after spring though. It's too drastic. I know that TL fans probably feel really bad about that, but like, it what is are you gonna a do? Third place performance. I think that does light the fire a bit more, and yeah. make them do more drastic stuff. I don't know if it means the roster changes, but we'll see. That was fun to watch. Actually, at least the first two games are fun to watch. Yeah, it was a good series, even though it was 3-0. Like, lit literally, EG did not feel like they were winning game one or yeah. two, and they just they just won. Yeah, and they just exploded. I mean, they lost. Sorry, EG won a game against Hextech Soul and Elder. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> that was so insane, dude. Like, how did they not instantly yeah. lose that team fight? Like, what the fuck happened? I mean, Han died with every ability up for two fights in a row. Like, blows. <laughs> Bummer, dude. God we'll damn. We'll pick it up game three. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, maybe game four? Four? Still four game? game four. I would love to see a fucking best of 13. <laughs> Danny, the potus. Holy shit. The pot is. The pots. I played against him, actually. I thought he'd be easier to kill in-game, but he, he's actually hard to kill. He's he's not... He died the first game, like, at four minutes, and then I guess for the rest of the series, he had two deaths. Playing against him, I, I could tell. He got, he got better. He used to be kind of a psycho, but... He learned how to fucking survive, like, hard situations. To help us out with the group draw today, we have a gifted trio. First, it's none other than two times LCS champion, our jungle juggernaut, the, the two time leader, champ, slash next level host, it's Meteos. Wow, is that him? So hot, Joining so Meteos handsome. Are two of offline TV's Dude. Finest. First, I was sitting next to the guy, imagine that. Professional boxer, we've got Michael Reeves. Oh, it's Oceania. Oh it's no! Order. Oh no! As you can see, not again! Guys, not again! Not able to beat the Australian team be. to make it out of groups. I'm gonna fucking explode! Thank you again, Medios, <laughs> Michael Reeves, Lily P. Please. The Australian team. I mean, we did already steal all of Oceania's best players. Who do they have left? Lul. Lul, we took Bit fudge. Beast is just streaming Lul. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's good. I haven't heard that one. I don't think he's ever tried Oceania, competitive, right? Oceania and Shambles, they need Mid Beast to save the region. 